Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can turn on and turn off the Wi-Fi signal inside the emulator or the Android device programmatically. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to have an app that looks like this. So there's a button with a label that says turn Wi-Fi off and in the status bar, the Wi-Fi connection is currently on. You tap on the button, the label changes to turn Wi-Fi on and the when looking at the status bar the Wi-Fi is off. You tap on it again and the label changes and if we look at the status bar and the Wi-Fi connection is on. Okay so before we dive into the implementation I just want to highlight a few things to you guys. First off is in, in this tutorial we're going to use the Wi-Fi manager API and that has a method that enables you to turn on and turn off the Wi-Fi and that method is called set Wi-Fi enabled and it is deprecated in API level 29 which means that you can't use this API you can't use this method anymore you can use it in older versions but you can use it in 29 and later on with that being said they even mentioned that in the the issue tracker, one of the developers in the Android team says that for the set Wi-Fi enabled API, it says we have changed the deprecation strategy based on the feedback from the other developers and those apps which are targeting older SDK can continue to use the Wi-Fi toggle. Okay, so I hope this made things clear for you guys. You can still use this but on older versions of Android. So with that, being, with that being said, let's dive back into the implementation and show you guys how you can do this. Okay, what we have here is a, bu a single button that's called button Wi-Fi and I have already added that in the layout file. It's positioned on the top center of the screen and I have already set the on-click listener for the button to react to the user taps. Next thing we need to do is we need to declare the Wi-Fi manager. So we'll do Wi-Fi Manager. We give it a simple name as Wi-Fi Manager. And then we need to initialize that. So Wi-Fi Manager equals to get application context, then get system service. And that will be context dot Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi service. And we'll end that with semicolon. And you can see Android is complaining We'll just have to hover our mouse over this line, tap on the red bulb and choose cast to the Wi-Fi manager. And notice it has been casted and there are no more errors. Okay, the second thing we need to do is we need to check the, the current Wi-Fi connection if it's on or off. If it's on, change the label of the button based on the status. And to check that, we'll do F the Wi-Fi manager dot is Wi-Fi enabled. If the Wi-Fi is on, then we'll change the label on the button to turn this off. So we'll do Wi-Fi turn Wi-Fi off. Else, if the Wi-Fi manager dot is enabled, the connection is enabled, and don't forget to at the exc exclamation mark on the on the first thing so if the connection is not enabled which means it's not connected then let me just copy this paste it here and change the label to on okay so we're done with the second step now we'll go to the third step here which is reacting to the user action. When the user taps on the button we need to change the label and turn on or turn off the Wi-Fi connection. And to do that we'll do F condition Wi-Fi manager dot. We'll check if it's enabled. If it is enabled then we'll do Wi-Fi change the Oops, we need to change the button label. We'll do button Wi-Fi dot set label set text, and we call this turn Wi-Fi on. 
and we'll do Wi-Fi manager dot set Wi-Fi enabled to false okay so now if, if the Wi-Fi is connected is enabled we have the label that says turn Wi-Fi on and we just set the Wi-Fi enabled to false we need to turn this off we need to turn this off else if the Wi-Fi manager dot is Wi-Fi enabled if it's not enabled which means it's not connected we just copy this paste it here change the label to off and set the enabled to true true okay all right so we declare the button and the Wi-Fi manager we're checking based on the current status of the Wi-Fi if it's on then change the label to off if it's off change the label to on and we're doing the same thing when the user taps on the button okay we're done with the Java file the next and the final part is the, the is the manifest file so let's open up the manifest file and here we need to add two permissions so we do user permission the first one would be the Wi-Fi we need to access the Wi-Fi state and the second permission is we need to change the Wi-Fi state Wi-Fi change Wi-Fi state okay we need these two permissions to be able to toggle on and off the Wi-Fi connection we've added the permissions and we're done with the Java file let's give this a run let's see how it looks like in the emulator so click on the run all right so build is complete now we have the uh, the button uh, we check the status bar and the Wi-Fi connection is on turn off the Wi-Fi the label has changed uh, let's look at the status bar again and the Wi-Fi is off tap on the button and let's check the status bar and the Wi-Fi is getting connected and it's officially connected all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and happy coding